What is up, guys? I am Joseph. This is Joseph's Place, and welcome to this episode of RS Education. Now, what I will be explaining in this episode of RS Education is how to simply use mouse keys. Now, if you don't know what mouse keys are, mouse keys are essentially something that lets you move your mouse with your number pad of your keyboard. Now, this won't work as well for laptops, so I am assuming you have a full number pad. And just so you know, this is not against the rules of RuneScape, as it doesn't break the rule of one input, one output. For example, every time we press a button, the mouse just moves one space. So, basically, what mouse keys will allow me to do is just control the mouse with my keyboard. So if I hold down the two option, it just moves the mouse down um, at a set interval, and then it does the same for all the other buttons, with the five button being the button to click. Now, to set up mouse keys, we first have to go into the control panel. So with the control panel open, we need to go to the ease of access section, and then go to the ease of access center. Now, this may be a little different to get to on Windows 8 or Windows Vista, but it should be all very similar. And if you still can't find it, you can always just search mouse keys in your search bar. So now that we are here, we need to go to make the mouse easier to use. And then you'll see an option here for mouse keys. Just click on set up mouse keys. Now, this will bring us to the settings for mouse keys. Very simple there. So I do have it turned on currently, so I have that box checked. And then I like to keep this box checked as it just makes it an easier way to turn on mouse keys rather than having to go through the control panel. So I have that checked. I don't have these boxes checked because they're just warnings and sounds when the um, ease of access is turned on or off. So when mouse keys is turned on, it'll display a warning or make a sound. I don't want those, so I don't have those checked. Down here we have the real settings, what we're really going to work with. Now, the pointer speed is basically the most vital part. You are going to want to check this box that says hold down control to speed, to speed up and shift to slow down, as this will be how we will jump our mouse. So for example, if we just press 2, you see it just moves down by a set interval, which is very small. If we hold control and press 2, it jumps down. What it does is it takes, the, it takes a set amount of time, and then however long, however far the mouse would have moved in that time, it moves it accordingly. So again, we can adjust the speed here. Um, but before we really get into that, we do need to get into our mouse settings. So I have another control panel open here. And for this one, we're going to actually get with the settings of the mouse. So we need to click on hardware and sound, click on mouse, and that will bring up this dialog. So once we are here, just click on pointer options. And if you set it to the speed I have mine at now, it makes things a lot easier. So I would suggest using this speed. But basically, these two options right here, the top speed of the pointer speed, and then over here in the mouse options, are the only two you're really going to need to adjust. So if you have yours set up exactly like I have them now, I'll give you an example of how this would work. So again, it's set up to the third to last tick on the mouse, and then I believe it's the, fourth, the third tick, actually, in the mouse keys. So now that we're in RuneScape, if we go over here and press the 5 key, it's going to right click on this coal. So now if I hold control and press 2, it brings the mouse right to the drop option. Now I can't drop it right now, and the reason for that is because it's essentially right clicking twice. So if you want to change this, you can use either the, the forward slash, which makes it a, a left click, so you'll select it. The asterisk makes it both, so it both right clicks and left clicks at the same time. And then the minus just right clicks. So let's just get out of there. What we need to do to actually use this effectively is go under the options, and then we need to uncheck this option. So it needs to be mouse buttons only one. And that way it treats every button, every click, as a, a both right and left click. Um, so now that we have that all settled, press asterisk on your number pad, hold control, press 5, press 2, press 5. I'm sorry, you do have to have the forward slash option on, so it needs to be on the normal click, just the normal um, left click, and then you just press 5, 2, 5, 5, 2, 5, 5, all the way down, and then when you want to switch rows, you just press 6 to switch rows. So very simple there, so if we kept doing that, we could of course still do that for you. But, you know, it is kind of annoying 
to just have to hold control down. So the way we fix this is with sticky keys. Yes, you know that thing that pops up every time you press shift five times? Well, we're actually going to use that to our advantage right now. So back in the control panel, um, now that we have these options all settled, what we're going to do is just, actually I'm going to open up a new control panel dialog so we can start fresh. Okay, we're going to go back to the ease of access section, back to where we were before, and then we're going to click on make the keyboard easier to use. And then we see an option here for sticky keys. So we're going to set up sticky keys. And what we need to do is we can turn on sticky keys when shift is pressed five times. And that way, you know, whenever we want to turn on, we just spam shift so it turns on. And then we need the option selected um, to lock modifying keys when pressed twice in a row. And then turn off when two keys are pressed at once, just so we have a way to turn it off. So what we need to do now is just spam press shift. So one, two, three, four, five. And if you notice on your taskbar, you should have the little icon there for sticky keys. And now what we do is we press control twice. So now it'll treat it like control is always being pressed. So if we press five, two, you see my hands aren't even on the control button. It's automatically assuming that the control button is being pressed. So then I can just drop this whole row of, no, this whole row of coal, no problem. And you can see it is a little misaligned. The reason for this is I just need to mess with my pointer speeds a bit more. But again, that is personal preference. I mean, it depends how you're training. You don't always need to drop the entire inventory. But if you do, again, it will just be some fine tuning for what you need to adjust the speeds to. But the speeds I have mine set to are pretty basic. So for example, if we go in our bank and we wanted to make it so whenever we went down, it went to select X or withdraw X. All we need to do is just move the speed up a little bit, press apply, and then let's test this out. And that acts, that's all. So if we just decrease it by one tick, see how that works out for us. And there we go, we have withdraw X and we would just press five to withdraw a certain amount. And then we'd be able to withdraw that amount. So, okay, there we go, sorry about that. So what this allows you to do is not only drop things quickly, but also buy things from stores quickly, withdraw things from your inventory or from your bank very quickly, things like that. So just as a recap, what we need to do is set our sticky keys up to settings similar to this one, to where we can turn it on with, you know, with a certain button combination, left alt, left shift, and number lock. Adjust the speed depending on if we're buying things, if we are... Um, dropping things if we're you know whatever we're doing again the higher speed will be a larger jump shorter speed will be a smaller jump the acceleration we don't need to worry about we do need to make sure we have this option checked and I'd like to display mouse keys on the taskbar just so I know when it's active so we need that all set up then in sticky keys all we really need is just to make sure it turns on when shift is pressed five times and then under the options we need to lock the modifying keys when pressed twice in a row just so we can choose the button we want to stay pressed, which in our case would be control. And then of course you can adjust your mouse speeds depending on what you want. So if I move this down a tick, I think that would actually help us a little bit. Um, but really it doesn't make a huge difference. You can set it up to however you want, whatever is most comfortable for you. Just play around with it and you know make it what you need it to be. If you only need to drop the first few inventory slots here, you know you can do that very easily. Or if you needed to drop the entire inventory um, you can definitely do it that way as well. And it looks like I got a random and I guess that's my cue to end this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I apologize if it was a bit long. I did want to go in depth with a lot of things so you can guys can completely understand the concept. Um, but yeah, that's just a, a, a guide on how to use mouse keys effectively in RuneScape. Again, can be very helpful for any kinds of training, for power training, for uh, buying items. I know I do it a lot as an Iron Man. I buy a lot of items from the store and it makes it very easy. Now, just as a quick little tip, the way I have my hands set up is I am uh, right-handed. So I have my right hand on my mouse and then my left hand hovering over my number pad. So that way I can move my mouse whenever I need to. And then I can still easily just click with five and then move the mouse down with two whenever I need to. So again, makes it very easy for that. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this guide. I hope it helped you. Hope it taught you something. If you have suggestions for other guys, other guides you'd like me to do, leave them in the 
comments below. I do have a few runescape, more RuneScape related guides here in the near future, such as a hunter guide and a rune crafting guide. But other than that, if you do need some guides, let me know. But that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.